beautiful day today in Atlanta. Beautiful day. Not sure what the weather is showing right now. I think it's what well, it was in the 60s. I think it's going to be great throughout the weekend. So hopefully I'll get uh, I'll get some uh, a nice ride in over the weekend. And uh, for you riders, I hope you uh, get a nice ride in as well. Let me know if you guys are planning on uh, going somewhere. I know there's a group of uh, BMW riders headed up north to have lunch, but unfortunately I have to go to Paul's Garage because uh, last time I was there, you know, they're very, you know, the owner was very friendly and whatnot, but I just, you know, I started off with having good feelings about Paul's Garage. Now I'm I'm kind of having mixed feelings and that could very well be because my experience is bringing me mixed feelings. Your experience could be absolutely perfect with Paul's Garage but the first time I went I open the door I walk in and you expect a certain level of at least like a smile from the guy at the back of the counter saying welcome good morning you know something no before the guy could say anything, there was a, a dog that came charging at me, barking. And my reaction was like, whoa, what the hell is this? And, you know, and I'm thinking, is this my welcome to this place? That should have been my first sign to get away from that place. But I figured, you know what, I'll chalk it up to chance. You know, towards the end of the day, I kind of, I got close to the dog, you know, she licked my fingers a little bit and I pet her and all was good but not a good start I mean you know and, they, and I was like dude I mean you know this is this is crazy I mean this, this happened to every customer who walks in what kind of welcome is that and the guy's response behind the counter was oh she's don't mind her she's just you know she's uh marking her territory letting you know I'm like dude I'm the fucking customer <laughs> You know, I don't care what she's trying to do. I'm here trying to spend money. This is not what I want in return. But anyway, it, so all changes done. They're a little bit cheaper than the dealership, but comes out to not being that much. The service that I had done, I had to go out of my way about 25 minutes away from Kennesaw, 30 minutes away to get to this person, this garage, Paul's garage. And yeah, granted, he was a master tech and whatnot, but you know, it was only about 50 to 100 bucks cheaper than the uh, dealership, and they couldn't get the uh, they couldn't reset the oil uh, oil light or the oil the service message because something was wrong with their scanner. I had to get an update, so I had I have to go back to them again tomorrow. So that A right there is points taken off from Paul's garage and uh, you know because I it's inconvenient for me they've gotten their money they're paid so they could care less if I go back there or not and then it has to be on their time because a couple of times I've tried oh the owner's not here you're gonna have to come in another day I'm like dude if the owner's not there tomorrow he needs to come meet me wherever I am or meet me halfway and take care of this so you know that, that was my ultimatum to them yesterday and, and the owner came on the line super nice guy and I was like dude if you can't do help take care of me tomorrow you're gonna have to come out and meet me because I've paid you in full and services have not been rendered in full in return to me so that was super nice he was like yeah no 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 please come on tomorrow sorry about that we'll take care of it so I have to wake up early get out there at nine o'clock to get this happen well I was gonna wake up early anyway for the BMW ride but I'm gonna miss it now because wheels up was 9.30 for that ride and don't think I'll be able to make it but yesterday I also noticed they had to you know if they, they took a fairing off and and didn't put the fairing back properly I can see the tabs hanging out and and this is something that would never happen at a BMW dealership I mean it just would never happen that's 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 something that is that that has made me make up my mind never to go back to Paul's garage after tomorrow because it is a super inconvenient for me 
he is not working on my bike there's a young kid who worked on my bike and that's fine you know I'm all for you getting experience because you have to start somewhere I always find it unfair for not getting a chance to gain the experience because uh, that's the worst line you can ever tell me is like well but you don't have enough experience and and my response is like well if you don't give me a chance how do you propose that I gain that experience so you know I'm cool with that gain your experience go ahead but double check your work quality control it you know before you hand me my motorcycle a guy like me is not gonna go over every corner of the bike to make sure everything is right I mean that's not my job I guess now I have to but that's not my job that's your job and if the owner of Paul's garage is gonna have an amateur or up-and-coming mechanic work on a motorcycle then it is the owner's responsibility to do a walk around and to make sure everything is done properly in this case it was not so I'm a little disappointed uh, I'm sh sure I'm the only one I'm you know because he had a lot of motorcycles out there and people swear by him and that may be so and that is actually the reason why I decided to go out of the way to Paul's garage to give him a shot but I must say that I think that shot is over I'm gonna go there tomorrow get my fenders installed properly that they should have at the first time around I'm gonna go and get the service service uh, message reset that they should have done the first time around and uh, and that's it I'm gonna call it say thank you and never see them again I'd rather pay an extra hundred bucks and go to the franchise dealer get the work done and uh, and not have to worry about any issues so what do you guys think I mean let me know if you've had a bad experience like that somewhere and you've called it quits with that place because I was very disappointed a lot of people told me they're, they're cheaper they're the they're really good I would not go to the dealership I listened to all of that I went there and while they were about sixty seventy dollars cheaper you know my time is valuable to me they took their money up front either they would say hey you know what your bill is 400 why don't you give me 300 because we couldn't finish all your work today and when you come back pay us the rest no they want their money now then then you know then then you should render your services complete I shouldn't have to go back to you so that's my rant about Paul's garage I guess it's been a ranty morning this morning but uh, a few things I wanted to get off my chest before the weekend rolls in so I can be all happy you know enjoy my rides but I'm just just you know bringing all this to you in case you're going through a similar scenario what do you do do you give them a second chance or do you learn from your first time around and say thank you very much we're done let me know in the comments below thanks for tuning in appreciate it if you like the video please uh, click like and uh, hit the subscribe button um, until next time be safe